Hey, 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 guys. This is Trouble <laughs> Friends. This is your girl, V. And this is Willis. Yo, Willis, we sound like a dying dog every time. A dying uh, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to synchronize. Uh, no. Okay, no, forget no. it. No, no negative. We're drunk with friends. We're drunk with friends, <laughs> and we're here. And I'm not drunk enough yet to hear that type of singing. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, welcome back. Um, if you never tuned in with us before, we always start off with a shot. We always end up with a shot, and we take a shot of either one of our phones go off with volume. We're here drinking tequila, as mostly always. Per use. Per use. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and start drinking. Let's start doing these things. And okay. Wait. Oh gosh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. How was your weekend? Did you have a good uh, St. Patty's Day? Yep. Got fucked up in DC. Went yeah. to like four different spots. Yo, we went to Oohs and Ahs after that drink. They raised the price. How much is the? Uh, Bro, we got does it like. Still taste the same though. Yeah. Okay. It still tastes well, same. Well, we got like three platters and it was like a hundred ten dollars. You lying? Nope. Like I got the. What did I get? I always go. I've only been there once, twice. I always get the fried chicken. The fried That's chicken. what I got. I got the fried chicken. The quarter drink, twenty five dollars. No, I get the wings. Oh no, no, I got the quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A but quarter yeah. chicken, not even a half a chicken. Yo, half chicken that starts with two sides is like thirteen <laughs> fifty. Nah, they went up. Damn. And I went to the U Street once. So you know they be hiding uh, shit up too. <laughs> you wild for that? Hell yeah, never again. Yeah. But uh. No, I had fun. How about you? Um, well, for St. Patty's Day, I got myself a dozen of crabs, nice. and I was just in there, just going to town by myself. Um, I binge uh some shows on Netflix because oh, and I binge stuff on um my Funimation. You know, uh, to our anime listeners, uh, anime people who like watching and cosplayers, uh, you know, Funimation, uh, Crunchyroll, and VRV, they're merging into one platform. Uh, I didn't know about uh, VRV. I thought Crunchyroll and Funimation already did that. Well, Crunchyroll and and VRV are are together. No, they were oh. already together previously, oh. like as of like three four years ago. So Funimation's they're all merging into one big plat platform, would make them the biggest anime streaming platform ever. And um, so I got the email today that the yearly Funimation cost what's going on from ninety nine dollars to one hundred and forty nine dollars. What? And I said, yeah, yeah. I paid a monthly, so maybe that's why I didn't get the uh, email. But. Yeah, well, I got that email for that year. Because I'm like, all right, $99. That's that's how Amazon Prime started. I'm like, all right, $99 every April. That's after tax season time. Right. I can eat that. Eat that. I haven't filed my taxes yet. But I can just eat that, right? Same here. <laughs> I really got to hit up my tax. Well, guy. we did file one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we filed one. But I got like two more to go. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I was like, for all that, we need to have multiple profiles. Cause you know on like Crunchyroll, you can only there's only one profile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't. Uh, they don't like you sharing. Sharing, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so I'm bullshit. like, that's gonna be. I need. I'm gonna need to use a profile, just like as if it was Netflix or Hulu. Yeah, they got. Because stuff what up. if you're watching My Hero and I'm watching My Hero, which most of the time I'm ten episodes behind, <laughs> and he's up to date. So I'm gonna be like, where am I at? And I gotta go back, and then you see that yeah, line looking irritating. like. I'll I, I be like, yo, I'll have to write down the progress for all my. Who doing that? <laughs> Who know that? Not Perhaps. me. Not me. Not me. So anyway, that's a little nugget for um. They do the same thing versus. with YouTube though too. YouTube, well, it, YouTube TV went up to like seventy five dollars now. Well, see, I just heard about YouTube TV. Oh, like I've been just heard about. Like it. Oh I yeah, yeah. I just heard about it like last year, and so that seventy five dollar one, I already knew that was like the price. Yeah. But for me, having Funimation since like twenty, when did he go into our service? 2018, 2017. Mm -hmm. I was like $99 went up to 149 plus tax. Hey, yo. Yeah, I think I pay like $14 a month for a Funimation. Yeah. See, I got too many onesies, onesies. coming out. Yeah. Like iTunes and all the other shit. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> nah, <laughs> these streaming services, man. Yeah. They take it over. Yeah. All right, so let's get into some topics. All right. So, uh, you or me this time? Mm. I'll start since mine's up. Okay. All right. So shout out to the Morning Hustle Show. I feel like I got a Morning Hustle Show like every week because they right. be having some good topics. But this one is, is a looper. Like what? It th it threw me for a loop. Um, but we're gonna see what you guys think. All right, here we go. You're asking for a friend. Hey Kyle, hi Lo. So my brother has been talking to a woman 
that I actually hooked up with a while back. Um, I know. Uh, I know. Um, and the real problem is I know she she's only doing this to get back at me because Mm. And oh, basically, I broke it off with her before it got serious because my family has no idea that I'm bisexual. Mm. Ah. Now, my brother is considering, you know, taking this relationship seriously. No. And I don't know what to do. Basically, I can't let this information get out. But, of course, I need to, you know, warn my brother. So. All right, Hustlers, what should she do, man? If she warns her brother, she's worried that her secret's going to get out amongst her family and amongst her job where she works for a Christian school. 866-487-8538. We, we are the morning hustle. Ready for the end of the <laughs> 2023, really? Oh, my God. I mean, you know your family better than us, so... Yeah. 2023 people still homophobic like that's crazy uh, you talking about the family or you the talking family about the school, and the school. She, said, she said work for a Christian school yeah I mean I'm, so alright I'm gonna let you talk first cause it was my topic <laughs> it's my topic so go ahead and you can go ahead and talk first if you want to um talk to your brother yeah, I, yeah I, 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 talk to your brother. And, um, I don't know. Maybe it's time for you to come out. I can't force you to come out. No one can force you to come out. But mm-hmm. you know your family better than anybody else. You're hiding it for a reason. But it's just like deception, right? Disgrace. <laughs> like I, I'm sorry. I wonder where they're from too, because like I wonder you, too. I wonder too. Like Midwest, they take that like the Bible Belt. They take yeah. that shit way serious. Yeah, I mean that's what I was about to say. Um, so, looking at the Christian side of it, right? Uh, it's like, I, I personally wouldn't put myself in a predicament or in a job line where I feel like I could be outed or fired because of my personal beliefs, That's way of life, suit. or anything like that. Right. Me personally, I would not do that to myself. Granted, um, maybe use like, I'm gonna fake it straight so that I get my my tenure and transfer somewhere else. Whatever, whatever your your reasons may be. She said she bought us. It's not faking straight, but you know. What I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, but I'm just like, I wouldn't put myself in that predicament, especially like, why would you go to a Catholic school when you know how they feel about certain things in their religion? Like, why would you go to a a, a mosque, a, a Muslim mosque? Eating a bacon, like you wouldn't, yeah, true. because that's their that's a part of their belief system. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna offer a Muslim bacon. I mean, they be bacon. fucking little boys, but wouldn't that be bad? About I mean, bacon? who does it? I mean, that's not really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, what religion does it have? This shit, right? <laughs> does it have this shit? That's <laughs> that about to sound so bad. <laughs> who does it? What? <laughs> Edit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, who doesn't like what religion doesn't have their shit? Like, right? They may have seemed like Catholics the only ones that was doing some shit. Granted, I believe that because Christianity was like the first religion that was like really like pressured onto our ancestors of all a lot of people's ancestors, right? Right. Um, that it's it's definitely taken a lot seriously. But every everyone got their shit with them. But I'm just I'm saying back to, I, the lady. Back to the lady. Um I wouldn't I wouldn't put myself in a predicament to right. get out of it, you know? Um now back to her relationship with her brother. Soon as my brother bought her or or showed me a picture of her or whatever, I'm like, yo, fam, I got something to tell you. This right. gotta be between you and me. I'm like I already smashed that. I, I, I already hit. I hit it first. You know be even more creepy if they look alike. Huh? It'll be more creepy if they, like they look alike. I mean, well, duh. You know, some siblings like favor each other, so it's like, oh, you got a tight type. Yeah. But my thing is, I would tell my brother, even if he hate me, because I would want him to know. Right. Like, yo, not, besides the fact that I hit it first, Ray J style. But then on number two, if she hasn't mentioned it to you. <laughs> Ray J style. All right. If she hasn't mentioned it to you, then clearly she's lying. She's holding something. Right. That, she know that you're my family. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then hopefully, you know, I don't know what type of relationship she has with her brother. He can keep her secret. 
Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to understand what is the the relationship with that has to do with her with her job. Does the girl work at the job too? Does the brother work at the job? Like, how would it get back to her job? Well, since she's saying family, maybe the family's like so. Like well, you know, on the board or something, or yeah. Because you know how some like uh, Christian schools, like the church is tied in with the school. So if your family's a part of the church, you know they're they have ties to the school too. So you know yeah. it all floats yeah, within that circle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But we're assuming it's one of those mega churches that has that. True, true, true. Yeah, everybody don't have a mega church. But yeah, I um I would come I would come yo bro come here. <laughs> you may hate me. You may you know not talk to me in front of the year, but yeah, that used to be my shorty, and I feel like she's using you to get back to me. Even if she not, yeah. the fact that she ain't tell you we had a history means that she's not trustworthy. I like, I would put it all out there. Yeah, yeah. Now Pika promise you won't tell mom and dad. <laughs> oh y'all yeah, could be some real niggas and be like yo go ahead and smash cup. Slater and I was kidding. Whatever y'all come up with. Just don't that's... take her ass seriously. That's all I'd be like, yo, don't take this bitch shit. I mean, this lady's serious. Well, that's what she, they said. They said that he, uh, he, um, basically was trying to make it serious. Mm hmm. You know? And don't I'm take like, these hoes seriously, right? Uh, awkward. Imagine Thanksgiving. We want to thank everybody for being here today. <laughs> Go ahead, Keisha. Tell us what you're thankful for. <laughs> That got to be awkward too. Uh, is that a fantasy? Some people like smashing a brother and a sister. Like I don't know. I don't know. It could be. I mean, I don't put nothing past weird. anybody these days. I know. People back in the day, people had British. weird obsessions about sisters. It was just like, uh. yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I've heard that back in the day, like the guy. But <laughs> guys used to be like, yeah, I, I smashed her and her older sister. That used Facts. to be like a bragging right. But if a girl says, yo, I, I smashed him and his older brother, then it's like, yo, you a hoe. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's how I used it, to be back in the day. I know, I know. But it's all cute when you're like, yo, I smash his son and the daddy. Then it's like, ah, Ali. I'm at that, <laughs> I'm at that age, right? You dating your son or the father. I'm that age, my guy. Facts. <laughs> oh, you ain't got it? What's your father up to? Mm-hmm. He's single? He, you yeah, I mean, you look good, so he must have got it from somewhere. <laughs> joking, joking, joking. For some people, it's serious, though. But yeah, I just want to know how you guys feel. What do you think she should do? She should let it ride, ride like the wave, hope that maybe the girl say something and, you know, she just not show up for the next couple of holidays or right. she's talked to her brother or she, she should just sit down her whole family and just come out. Yeah, I would, I would go with coming out and get a good lawyer just in case you're, you're that church on some fuck shit. They try to fire you, sue the shit out of them. That's my opinion. But you Wow, know. that sounds <laughs> extreme. Nah, soon. Um, I got something. So, speaking of dating, uh, so someone did a study and um, they pretty much said men prefer to stay in the house instead of going out on dates now. Take a listen. There was a study called um, from the Pew Center Research conducted a study that said 63% of men under age 30 would rather stay home and watch porn than go on a date. Mm. Men say they are getting their needs met without having to go on a date. Would you? Would men rather stay single than be with a woman? Is the question. That's what they're saying, pretty much. Sixty-three percent of men. I think they're cheap. Yeah, they just ain't got no money. They don't have money, which you should get your money up before you start dating. So it is cheaper to sit home and beat your meat, right? Than actually go out and find actual women to hang out with. That's I sad disagree. reality. I disagree. Why? What do you think? Is it what less of what a do you headache? Here we go. With a woman or something. There it goes. Like it's a headache. Now I gotta take you out. I gotta hear what you had to tell your whole day. I that's gotta. That's why you take out people you actually like, and then you don't feel that. Yeah, way. but then what? Well, I gotta get to know you first to like you, right? Yeah. So how do I get to know you? Talk. Call them. The so you rather fuck yeah. your hand? Uh, hey, listen. I'm married. Hey, you always gotta say. <laughs> okay, so you wasn't, got these nigga if you wasn't these nigga married, if you wasn't married, I'd probably be eating my meat at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ain't read it. I can see that. The only part I disagree with was the whole that they're staying at home because they're broke. No, I mean, they're broke. They probably just don't want to deal with the anxiety or the headache of it. going on a date. Yeah, I said no. I think it's a little bit both. Mm-hmm. Because you gotta think about it, from like in my experience, from like twenty five to thirty, that's when, and that's for both genders. 
we're grinding to get into our career fields. You're out of college, yeah. you're out of your trade school, and you're literally getting on the track to figure out what you want to do with life. Right. You know, there is those late bloomers that, uh, when I say late bloomers, I mean as far as those career uh, college kids that <laughs> didn't do four, they did seven, you know. It happens. I was one of them. <laughs> I ain't seven. <laughs> I remember saying, I know, I'm, and it's, sometimes it's not on purpose. It's because they may have transferred schools and lost credit, so they had to come back and do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever happened, happened, right? Um, but I say all that to say that I think it could be a little bit of both. It could be the fact that he's like, yo, I don't want the headache. I don't want to feel like, what's your favorite color? What do you like to do? What's your favorite position? What do you, I don't feel like doing all that. Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, it's like, yo, I know I only make like 38,000 a year and I hate this job at Krispy Kreme so why the mm -hmm. fuck I know no girl really want to you know talk to me until I figure you know I, I think we watched a clip from like Steve Harvey a year or so ago it was like yo a man will not actually start searching or start actually putting their foot uh, their foot out there to date date until they feel like that they they have that sense that they can provide that they they have stuff to bring to the table you know what I mean? They, I mean, granted, there are some exceptions to the rule that they can be sleeping on their mama couch and they gonna go smack. It don't matter. True. But most men, they want to feel like they're established before they start putting their, you know, their their fishing hook out there into the sea. Uh -huh. I was gonna say, I feel like it's a little bit of both. I think the internet ruined us, cause you know. I've been told you that. Facts. So growing up in the era that I grew up in, like porn wasn't mm. that that uh accessible. Like, Which yeah, era was that? Nineteen sixties? No. Got jokes. We, we ain't gonna you said an era. God. In my era, porn wasn't available like that. It wasn't on your phone. We didn't have phone shit. We were just getting chirps and strip phones and color screens. Like mm, color screens. God damn. Really? Okay. You anyway, said color screens. We were like a couple years apart. Nah. I'm like a whole five years apart, bro. But I'm just saying, so now, I mean, back then, mm. you had to go outside to get pussy. Yeah, true. true you know true, what I'm true, saying? True. You there wasn't was no just, Tinder, no left, what, right. No apps, no none of that right, stuff. Right, right, right. Now, everything's so accessible to your phone. Mm hmm. And I ain't got to waste money. Because pretty much, we was taking you on the dates, and then there was no guarantee you was going to get none. Or it was going to work out. Or you was going to see them again. Well, yeah. Zero guarantee. You had to call that house. So line. now. Guys are like, I don't even want to go through all that. I can sit here, play my video games, watch whatever raunchy shit that I want to watch. But that's, I think that's why, though. It There's ruined so, us. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, it ruined it. But then you can also look at it as that there are other things that have been prioritized. Uh -huh. Why that guy is building his life, his career, he not talking to anybody seriously, so he gaming at home. Or... He's, you know, working two jobs to save to get out of his mama house or whatever. Right. Or he can just not be doing shit and just not being productive at all. Whatever he's doing, he's doing and he has other things to occupy his time now. Back then we didn't have a lot of shit to occupy our time. Sure. It was like, uh, alright, we can go hang out with the girls. Mm -hmm. But even going out and hang out with the girls, you will still run up to guys. You know, clubs and lounges, we will still run into people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but now... We don't have to go out. We all got our own places, but yeah. so, so, so at least apartments and stuff by the time you're 30. So I can just have a girl's night and they come over my house and we have wine in the living room. You know, like I said, different eras. Yeah. So different stability levels than the previous era. We wasn't, we wasn't set up. Well, not we. The, I feel like the previous generations weren't really set up like how we were. Like, oh, yeah. we oh. thought 30 was old. We was, <laughs> uh. oh, why you? Whole time, <laughs> whole time they was just trying to get by just like us. You know what I thought about with this study though? They probably did this study like last year, the year before last. That was COVID era. I'm definitely not leaving out the house. Definitely wasn't leaving out the house. So it part the numbers probably rose. Yeah, probably. So it's just like so many factors. Just how we found out that these meetings could be an email. We found out that a lot of these hookups could just be Netflix. Uh, I mean, uh, porn hub and chill. With myself. And I like that, yo. Yeah. Some of these women are just savage. So it was just like, yo, the times have changed. Yeah, times have changed. And then, like, I think it's on both parts. There are a lot of men that saying, like, hey, if you're not on my level or if you're not 
focus and like men have standards now or starting to get more standards now more than just <laughs> more than just you know you look good i want to fuck it's more like all right what you got going on for yourself oh you yeah know, what do you bring to the table we've been saying that for years yeah what do you bring to the table and now it's actually being implemented it's not just talk yeah. now it's being implemented so what you know about this that third what are your goals you know what do you plan on doing this then the third so and then vice versa as well because women are now grinders now like more grinder and more big knowledge as being grinders and bread winners and stuff so we're like yo if you're not doing more to me what the fuck i need to be with you for exactly yeah you know i mean so are you that, a partner or dependent so here's my thing here's my rebuttal question then is the fact that they're happy to happy to be home uh you know with themselves and not trying to attempt to go out in that pool or do they really know that they're not ready to go into that pool because they don't have nothing to bring to the table i think it's just a convenience a matter of convenience hmm could be yeah i really do I think it's just a matter of convenience like why what's the point mm -hmm. Yeah. It's simple that way for you guys <laughs> very simple it's very simple that way where we women be like yo he ain't got shit <laughs> he ain't got shit to bring to me so no nah. So, speaking of relationships, right? So, before you go into yours, right? So, I got this viral. Did you see this viral uh, text thread, this conversation between No, today guy? I was working hard. I didn't see nothing today. Okay. So, I'm going to read you this text thread. It's between this guy who got this girl number, okay? Oh, wow. All right. Uh, 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 where is it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. So, we couldn't see what it is. So, it starts off like, nosy how. I've been interested in you for a while. I'm just getting available to reach out. That's what the guy sent the girl. Mm -hmm. Girl replies, but you don't want to cash out? Question mark. The guy says, I was unaware that I had to pay to talk. I don't have an issue with assisting with anything I'm a part of. She says, well, you're aware now. He says, so I can't get to know you without prepaying? She said, correct. I work and go to school and parent no my none of my energy and time is not just open okay yeah, and he replies well let's cut to the chase how much the fuck since we skipping texts the steps <laughs> i'm not even mad at him <laughs> i'm not even mad at my dude i'm not mad at him is it too far like what like that's too much would you ever charge a dude like to get, give me a number just to no. get your number no no not at all. I, think I just, that, that's a wave now. The girls be like, yo, cash out. If you want to get to know me, you got to pay for my time. I, the furthest I've seen it and the first I've done, period. Mm. Me. Mm. Just way back in the day, it was like, yo, she mm -hmm. might be like, um, I got to find somebody to watch my kid. Uh, or she'd be like, my little system, or my uh, little system will watch my kid, but I got to give her $100. I'll give her $100. Because I want to take you on a date. Yo, you are too fucking nice, bro. This, see, this is why a guy let me be a girl. <laughs> All jokes aside. I'm going to put a pin in what you just said. All jokes aside, because ain't no fucking way, my guy. I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't have been a man in this generation. Because they would, these women would have got me fucked up. And then when I hear women even say it, I'm like, girl, you wow. Money to talk to you? Who are you? Hey. Who, who are you? I mean, I'm, even out to the prettiest woman on the earth, whoever that may be in whoever's eyes, to talk, talking is free, my guy. Talking is free. But and I get it, time, time is, is money. Mo I know, I get it. That's the, that's what they say. Right. But my thing is, time is money. Then how come you aren't paying yourself when you're just doing nothing? True. Well, you know what? And now just think about it when I just read it. Maybe she's not that interested. I get it. But my thing is, where's your moral compass where if you're not just interested, just say it. Be grown. Hey, like, I remember in my back in the day in my single days when, um, oh no, the light just went dim on us. Why? But anyway, um, All right. anyway, they still see us. Um, uh, <laughs> I remember back in my single days, you know, when guy would come up and he was like, hey, you know, try to talk to me or whatever. I would tell him if I had a guy, hey, I just want you to know I have a guy. I know you're probably trying to buy me a drink or whatever. I just want you to know. That gives them the opportunity to be like, you know what? Appreciate you for telling me you still look good. i buy you a drink. Right. Just off the strength of me being a hundred with him. So he right. don't feel like he has to be obligated to try to talk to me, sweet talk to me, none of that. I just want to let you know. I appreciate you coming to me. That give first, I'm mean, acknowledging the fact of your effort. Because it takes some balls for guys to talk to certain girls. Especially if they're sure. shyer than normal. You know what I mean? 
you took some balls and some kahunas to come up and talk to me. And then number two, I'm going to keep it 100 with you from the beginning. Hey, I got a dude. And if I did have a dude, I, then it was like, hey, I just want to let you know I'm not really trying to talk to anybody right now. Right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just cooling. I'm here with my girls. Thank you for offering me a drink, but I'm a pass. Are like, you sure you don't want to drink? I mean, I don't want nothing. Young lady, we don't got shirts and numbers and none of that. If he still offers, then I'll take it. But then, day, you won't get. You I told you shit up front. That way, you, you know, think that I'm wasting your time. And you can go on to the next, and then I can go back to what I was doing. Do you? Uh, back when you was single, did you? Uh, like, say, if you was out with your girlfriend, somebody tried to holler, and you were interested in this guy. Mm-hmm. Did it matter if he offers you a drink or you and your friend a drink? No, it didn't matter. Okay. It, it, it didn't matter. If he, most of the times, it was offering me a drink. I'll take it back. It would be half and half. It depends on where like, I was. Like, would you judge him? If he no, liked. no, no. I wouldn't judge him. Because at the end of the day, I don't know his pockets. True, true, true. I mean, like, that's why I say I would be appreciative that anybody asked me. Most of the times, to be back in the day, remember, it was like, you met a guy on a dance floor. You didn't just meet him just at the bar. You weren't just leaning up on a bar unless you got there early when it was like starting to get filled up. When it was like free before 12 and you just, you know, you start off with your first drink right. and chill in the bar with the girls, whatever. But by 12, 31 o'clock, everybody already on a dance floor. So nine times out of 10, after you dance with a nigga, that's when he was like, you want a drink? And I'm like, yeah. And then we both walk to the bar. Right. I tell my girls, hey, I'm going to the bar. That's what you do, buddy, buddy system. Hey, I'm going to the bar with this this guy there <laughs> and they're like all right bet and he like that gives the opportunity I'm, he buys me the drink but if he we all stop and we on the side he's like oh which y'all oh yeah I love you ladies most of the time he's not alone he got a he got new friends True. so it's like all right bye it's three of y'all what y'all want tequila pineapple okay whatever everybody right but i'm not going to judge him because he only bought me a drink and i and my friends were never that way either we would just keep an eye on her to make sure, you know, especially if they're a little tipsy, right. make sure that she good. Nobody trying to snatch her, put in a fucking trunk or something. <laughs> I mean, that's just how yeah, we yeah. were raised, you know, watch out for your other stuff. We black. We, yeah, you're right. We're not letting you go, some, go somewhere off with some random guy. Facts. We watch you. Hey, are you good? You're, you're, you're all right. All right. <laughs> like literally, literally, that's black people. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. All right, I'm watching, <laughs> sir. And right. I, I'm that person. I'm like, sir, watching. <laughs> you're like, oh, you, you gotta protect the one right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We going home together. Together. <laughs> yeah. All right, you gotta. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I got a topic. All right, so slight tangent. <sighs> so you're married. I'm engaged. So, I would want to know how you would feel. Do you feel like somebody should just mind their business? This mother should mind her business? Or do you feel like um, he should just come clean? All right, All right ready? Yeah. All right. Asking for a friend on the morning hustle. All right, y'all, asking for a friend is going down. And this time, we got one off of our voicemail, though. And here's what she had to say. Hi, Kyle. Hi, love. Hi. So, I need your help today. Typically, I'm pretty good at this, but my brother proposed to his girlfriend last weekend. He did everything right. He asked her dad ahead of time, got his blessing and everything. But <laughs> when he told us about it, my mom wanted to see the ring. He showed her, but she recognized that it was from his ex fiance. So... Uh, he doesn't see anything wrong with it uh -huh. because he paid like $9,000 for it. And his ex-fiance was the one who actually called it off and gave it back. The only thing is my mom will not let it go. Mm. She said that if he doesn't tell her, then she's going to do it. And I just personally say it's, it's none of her business, but I don't know. I just need a little help with this one. We are the morning hustle. Okay, so... Summarize. So he proposed to his new girlfriend. He did everything right. Got the, uh, the father's blessing of his girlfriend. Um, told his mom and sister that you know he proposed. Obviously, she said yes. And mom was like, "All right, I want to see the ring. See the ring. It's the same ring that he gave his ex fiance." Which I'm like, "All right." So his mother. His mother. His mother. Grandmother snitch. Uh -huh. Fuck out of here, uh, his Better mother. Better repurpose that ring. That was expensive. You know he what? said it was nine thousand dollars. He got the ring back, so the fiance, the ex fiance, gave the ring back, and he was like, "All right, well, shit. <laughs> it, 
it wasn't the right person. I got, I still got this ring. Why would let right. 9K go to waste? True. I ain't mad at him. But his mother is now saying, if you don't confess to the girl that that's the ring from your previous relationship, I will. Tell your mother to mind her motherfucking business <laughs> right now. What the hell? I agree. I agree. Um, What I can say is that he could have possibly maybe changed something about the... Change the, the band. Change the band, yeah. yeah. Or change the set, maybe so whatever. And then, of course, the, um, the wedding... Um, you know, you got the engagement ring, and then you got the the actual wedding band. Right. You could have make the band change. Basically, you know, whatever band you add switch can switch it around, make it look what it is. Um, but I don't think it's his mom's place to be like snitching, be like, yo, oh, I seen that ring before. Oh, you saw it on a commercial? No, I saw it on Tatiana hand last year. Like, what? You yeah. are wild, my guy. You. Your mom's mom's wild. Yeah. Mom, 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 mind her business. But in a way, I guess she's maybe I says, looking out for her baby. Maybe no. she's looking out for her baby, or maybe devil's advocate. Maybe she doesn't want her son to start off a marriage with a lot. It's not a lie. I mean, with her, I got you a ring. I got you a ring. You didn't ask me where it came from. Depends on how you view a lie. Sometimes withholding information is technically lying. Get the fuck. Ayo, hey, no. If and the I law, I gotta tell you where this ring came from. I really do. I mean, you don't give a shit if it's a blood diamond or not, but you give a shit if it's a fucking <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, nah. Not a blood diamond, my guy. Shut you don't care who lost their arm in Africa for that diamond, but wow. you care if I gave it to somebody else. Wow. I, I'm. Right, you you the woman here. No, I mean I got it. Would I'm you want to know if what if your uh, fiance did that to you? What if he did it to me? Yes, gave you his ex. I would want to know. Me personally. I, would, I if personally. you don't know, won't hurt you. Second but my else. thing is, with a hole in it, could hurt. It depends on what type of woman you have. You think that what? girl going to be like, oh, he gave me that one last year. going to randomly run into this random girl. But, but here's my thing. How many times have you randomly ran into an ex in your future when you're out with your, your spouse or significant other? And God forbid, she looks down. Mm-hmm. And be like, interesting. Well, here's that, that's 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 going it down the road. That's gonna that's gonna come. It's gonna come up. Yeah, it's all gonna right. come up. So well, I would rather you tell me in the beginning, and then you let me know, and let me accept it. Then I found out one by your mom, or even worse by an ex. Mm-hmm. By an ex, I gotta take a shot. Or even worse okay. by the ex. That you gave it to, we may run now, or a friend that knows that I gave that. Because everybody know you was engaged before. Yeah. So, you think that people not going to remember y'all posting it up on Facebook with y'all engagement photos? Or, or when the I do happened, the video happened. People won't remember that, ring. Right? Nine k word? People won't remember it. Oh, that looked mighty familiar. It just ain't that one auntie or that uncle. Two things. Because that's what girls do. Well, let me see the ring. Yeah. Okay, Sean, you did good. This looks, this looks. Gotcha. Come on now. Well, that's here, embarrassing. You're, the, you're, you're literally sending your girl to be embarrassed. The mom's a weirdo for even trying to put herself in there. I mean, they might have some dynamic that doesn't need to be had. And here's the second thing. If I was engaged and it didn't work out and she gave me the ring back, I'm not keeping that ring. I'm pounding it and go to hedonism. Me too. And no, I'm, I'm going, that's I'm me. going to the trip somewhere. Yeah, I agree I'm with you. that bitch. Or if I, I get my money back from the store. I agree with you. I'm with you on that. I'm I'm gonna, I wouldn't have kept it. I, that's just me. Uh, that's just me. I don't want you to keep it. But I'm going to sell this bitch. I'm gonna sell, yeah. <laughs> and me, I'm the other person. We're in of Maryland. It's considered a gift. You ain't getting this fucking ring back. I'm pawning it. And I'm going on a trip. Facts. I'm just letting you know, as a woman, as a woman, and Man, this, this, we this, think this, this one. okay, okay. I'm not friend. Right. friend. I'm not that that friend. That's just where I'm at. You gave it to me already. Not okay. Not a trip. How, how much I got? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's just five k. I'm about to do that. All right. Well, I'm, I got some money to put down Ooh. on my next house. Let me move out. Where that next place in um, Jamaica? Two. Hedonism one, two, three. <laughs> All of them. All of them. I'm about to have some fun on this bitch. What the fuck you mean? Fuck yeah. you mean? Shit. Huh. 36 pack of Mac. Mm-mm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead 
Sergio. I'm with you. Got that ring. I'm with, ain't, ain't nobody oh, can. But I, I would want to know what was the purpose. What was that reason in my Cardi B voice? What was that reason? <laughs> to keep that fucking ring. 9K? Bro. Just sitting in your closet? Right. No, you, you, you just got it laid up somewhere. Bro, you got me fucked up. The hat ring. I'm taking it right now. So look, fucking fast. look, I'm telling you right now. I love my fiance to death right now. <laughs> if this thing don't work out, I am keeping all three rings. I got the wedding ring. I got. I mean, I got the wedding band, and I got the ring, and I got his ring. I'm turning all. I'm pulling all three of them Man, bitches. Where, where we going? Where? Hey, where look, we going? Hey, you, hey you. I'm putting, bro. All right, got the Airbnb. Just get there. <laughs> yeah, you gonna see me like, is she okay? Yeah, I just saw her on a beach somewhere. Man, what? Somebody was, uh, she was on somebody's back while they was doing push-ups. Y'all gonna see me in Jamaica because y'all know I love Jamaica. Facts. I'm gonna be out there with St. Uh, with St. John. <laughs> be out there having my best life. Facts, Just saying. Alright, alright, all right. I'm, I'm doing it. But I just want, ain't no way I'm keeping that ring. I'm not keeping it. I'm not, ain't no way I'm keeping it. And then I kept it and then I give it to somebody else. It's just so many things that I do not agree with in this scenario. Hell no. Keeping a ring, one. Using our ring to propose to a new person. Well, exactly the same. Let's put it like that. You know what I just thought about? Cause Three. We're, we're, being, we're being dicks about it. What if you're still making payments on it? See? I didn't think about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, then I would keep it. If I'm making payments on it. And move as soon as that bitch paid off. Uh, I'm going to see how much I can uh, get from it and see the way out. Like, uh, I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> That's not I ain't keeping that fucking ring. Me personally, as the woman, that sounds like a him problem. That uh, ring is still mine. What wow. happens? What happens when you try to uh, sell your car or give your car off? They be like, okay, but you still gotta pay off that balance. No okay. matter who you give it to, they they still in your let alone still in your name. I took advantage of the, uh, you know how the um, places um, they'll do like uh, eighteen months interest free. I did that, knocked it out within eighteen months. Oh, what for your your whatever. Hers, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just paid for his straight out. Paula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nick Nick and Rings be like $100. <laughs> well, no, I, I made sure that his was like a little bit more expensive than that. I think his ring. No, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying his room costs almost three grand. Ring? That one spins. Yeah, yeah. Like, his this ring costs almost ring. three. His almost costs three. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm getting him another ring for like everyday shit. I so. got this one, Amazon. Like fifty bucks, and I got engraved inside. Just, oh, that's the. I was wondering when I was like messing around. Oh, that's so cute. Fifty bucks, Amazon. Hey, <laughs> but anyway, I'm saying all that to say, guys. I, like I said, three things on, I don't agree with. Granted, we were dicks. We were thinking it was paid off, but <laughs> if it was it's paid off, <laughs> you already spent the money. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. I, what? And you know, even though maybe worth nine k, they're gonna be they're gonna shortchange you. Like we'll give you three k for it. Then I'm economy. <laughs> Huh? Diamonds worth a lot now, depending on the economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one, they appreciate. One, but you could got some of your money, majority of your money back. Yeah, you would have got a good. I mean, a chunk. If it was worth nine k in the first place. Right, you would get a chunk back. That's a trip. That's a cruise. But bro, man, I was. What's just, the? Uh, let me talk about spirit. You get the spirit package. Five nine nine. Five nine nine. Go anywhere. Or frontier. Frontier. Frontier package. Five nine nine. Man, out every weekend. Every week. Bro, y'all wouldn't What's see me. What's the name me? of the party when, um, I don't know, single but it party or divorce party or something party? Man. What? I told all my friends, yo, just get here. I got the fucking Airbnb. We about to wild the fuck out. Bro. Bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Anyway, uh, like I said, keeping that ring, using it in the same way, and then, of course, the mom. I feel like mom should mind her business, but I feel like he should be honest with the girl. Mm -hmm. Like, so she won't be humiliated down the line. So that way... You know, this is a new person coming into your family, and you don't want her resenting family members because older people, yeah. they don't have no fucking breaks on their mouth. Uh, oh, okay, you go here, strutting around and steal his ring. No, it's my ring. <laughs> but, like, you don't, you don't want that uh, hostility and animosity. <laughs> so, he should just tell her. Tell her. Tell her the truth. That's, that's my, that was my last topic. I wanted to bring that up because <laughs> I was just like, hey, yo. Ain't no way. Hell Ain't no. no way. And then the fact my mom is threatening me, if you don't tell her, I will. What do you do? Did you pay towards this? You ring? Like, I can't give ring, but shit. <laughs> what if the mom paid for the ring? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Damn. Then she really do got to say. Yeah, you're right. We didn't think about that. See, you were being a dick, mm -hmm. you didn't think about that. Now my mom offered me her O ring. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to get something on my own. 
It could have been that situation. That's why she recognized it. I don't know. I don't know. Because my mom wanted me to like take her old diamonds and just repurpose it. But I was like, nah, I don't need that, that hex on my shit. Not that hex. Uh, all <laughs> so right. I'm just kidding. Not <laughs> hex. Are you wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't like, you don't think it's like a bad omen like if you like like if you took your mother's yeah you're supposed to take ex- yeah, ring, yeah, yeah, like, I agree I agree I'm like nah I agree I agree I, agree, I, agree. I was around for y'all yeah, that's like, <laughs> starting I mean, over here even on a, on a lower level it's like when people like giving you advice of like but you've been divorced twice so I'm not gonna listen to you right. it's the same thing I'm not taking your these were the diamonds the past are paid over that you live a have a long and prosperous marriage right you go and put that on the necklace baby you go and wear right, that right. put it back in your put city. it back put it back <laughs> put it back in your city put it back, back go sell it <laughs> nah, my mom kept all her shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet, I bet. But they were actually married. If you actually married, you might want to keep your shit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. But to pass that down, it could be for like the, you know, what's supposed people to be... do it? Why people do do it? Why people they do... They pass down rings. But rings most of the time, rings. most of the time, there are people still married. Or they were at least <laughs> married for like 20, 30 years. They're like, this was for my grandparents. Great, great, great grandparents. They was married 42 years. She came years. on the boat. <laughs> Right, right, right. Survived the Holocaust. Like, I'm like, alright, so, I'm like, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Clearly some right. resistance there. Facts. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my on my gown, like, mm-hmm. um, you know, something new, something borrowed, something blue, something, something. Like, I can see me putting it on my dress, but to wear it for the rest 24/7? of my... 24-7? Yeah. Sheesh, nope. I'll put it in one of... 1932. <laughs> Bruh, nah, nah, I'm good I'm off good. that. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. I just want to put that out there. I want to see what you guys think. What you think he should do? Right. Um, do you agree with the sister? Mind your mind our business, or do you agree with me I sh- that he should tell? He should just tell his fiance. She should just tell her fiance. I think y'all agree with me. That's gonna start an argument, though. I mean, it may, it may, but either way, regardless if you tell me now or ten years down the line, or I found out five years down the line from somebody else. So that's would you not demand you? for a new ring? I would at least. I don't know if I would demand a new ring, but I would be like, "Hey, can we get it set differently?" So it can be, it could basically be, like you know how like people pass down the car from like the dad to the to the to the the eighteen year old. All right, let's get it out. Let's 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 change some things, adapt to do a new stereo system. Mm -hmm. You know, do some new tires, do something new to it so it don't step symbolize what Stella got. I don't need Stella walking up to me like, "Oh, that's my old ring." Then I'm about to hit this bitch in the throat and then hit you because you ain't tell me it was so great. <laughs> That's humiliating. You do not want to put your partner in a position to be humiliated when you know the truth all along and everybody else knows the truth all along. You don't want that feeling because then she's going to feel like that you, you're you not protecting her. Yeah. And you're the root cause of her being humiliated. I don't even think I would ask for the ring back, man. If you just throw it at me and give it to me, cool. But I don't think I would ask for the ring back. Fuck it. But you know it's not. You know me too. Money on the spot. I don't give it back. I don't don't ask me for a bag, you ain't getting back. You get shit back. You ain't get shit back. Especially me? Me? A whole, a whole me? me? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? It's fucking sad, bro. Man. Yo. Bro, bro, I am not the one or the two. Shit, I'm none of the numbers. None of the numbers that you can think of. I'm none of those. <laughs> none of those. You got me fucked up. You ain't getting it back. Sorry. Uh-huh. Sorry. And I, and I got Marilyn Law to back me up. Shit. Mm-hmm. It's a gift. Guess and that nigga. gift is mine. You know, Indian give out here. And nope, nope, nope. I'm like, they were like, damn, she was just in the Bahamas. I didn't know she was at Turks and Caicos. Yup, and I'm going to be in Paris next week. God damn. Every you year. think what? Y'all ain't going to see me for a smooth month. <laughs> v, you all right? I'm alive. Well, where you at? <laughs> Toes and sand. Click. <laughs> <laughs> so, V, where can they find us at? On the beach with my toes in the sand. Fast. <laughs> Fucking fast. <laughs> Some repurpose. Yeah, we fucked up. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, he's real nigga. He's black. Niggas keep doing it. Hey yo, I'm. I'm he's saying the shit. That's some. That's some white teeth stuff. That's some other people's stuff. Not us. I cannot breathe. <laughs> not us. <laughs> not no. I am not. You know, normally we and Willis we try to be on the opposite. <laughs> no, not this time, my guy. You ain't it. Nigga, we out. Out. You gonna see that? You gonna see that ring in a picture? That's what you gonna mm-hmm. see. That's all you gonna see that from there on. You can go buy it back in the pawn shop. Pawn shop, right around the corner. They gonna sell it to you more than you paid for it the first. Right. <laughs> 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 and it's PG County. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. You guys can find us. You find us on uh, Google Play, Castbox, Alexa TuneIn, Pandora, Podbean, Apple Podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube, uh, DWF Podcast. I think there's some numbers behind that. You'll see it in the caption when I post it. Um, if you ever want to be on our show, always DM us or hit us up on our uh, email at uh, drunkwithfriends.gmail.com. And yeah, I think I got that all together. Yep. I think that's uh, pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll take this one from the music earlier. Yo, ain't no way. That's all I'm going to say. Ain't no way, my guy. Ain't no fucking way. Man. But what, what did Denzel say when he was talking to Jimmy Fox? I'm going to leave here with something. <laughs> I'm taking something. I'm taking something. I'm taking something with me. I'm leaving here with something. Oh, fuck. You got me. Sure. You know. You better hide it. You lucky I don't go to the strip club with that money. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going to a strip club, but I would definitely be in another country. Man. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. <laughs>